Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson with FreedomOutpost.com and FreedomLover70.blogspot.com. I am reporting today on a tragedy that happened that is an unthinkable tragedy and it was one that could have been well avoided. In Clash Daily sent me an email today stating that two children, two years old and three years old, were left home alone by the mother and by the aunt so they could go drop off a friend. This is disturbing on many levels, but what is even more disturbing is apparently the aunt is more concerned about her food stamp card than about the two children that were burned alive. I will play the video for you and after that then I will address many concerns that I have about this situation that has gone on in Memphis, Tennessee. Out in Memphis community, two children, ages two and three, left home alone shortly before a fire broke out. Carrying out search procedures, we located two small children. Those children were transported to Obama Hospital in not a critical condition. The two boys were left unattended while their mother and aunt left home to go drop off a friend. We left out. I don't know what time it was, because we went and dropped this dude off at home until he had cut her grass and stuff. So we went and dropped her, him off at home. Sometime after that, 911 received a call from neighbors saying the house was on fire. Pulled up and we heard a lady hollering. And when she hollered, she was hollering two kids was in the house. Frida was calling me on the telephone and she was telling me the house was on fire. The house was on fire. And so we were hurrying up to get here. Neighbors say they heard screams coming from a home and rushed to the back door to try to rescue the two children. However, when they got there, the flames and smoke were too powerful for them to enter. It was really hurtful to hear kids and not holler. But I wasn't for sure it was kids. I thought it was the radio. So by the time I tried to get in the hall to find the flame, I mean, the smoke pushed me back out. It was too strong. I couldn't see nothing. So when they pulled them out, it, it really hurt my heart that I couldn't get to them. They, they were just slumped over like rag dolls, you know. When they picked them up, the arms was down, the legs was just hanging, and, you know, everybody went into an emotional uproar. However, the children's aunt, who left the house with the mother, said she has no regrets about leaving the children home alone. I, I really don't, you know, because, I mean, if they had been there by themselves, but I don't know how the house got caught on fire. I don't know if the boys set it on fire or somebody throw something in there to set it on fire. I really need to get in there and see if my purse burn up. <laughs> but I had my food stuff card, everything in there. Okay, right there, that was the aunt. So these are the things that I would like to address. First of all, the aunt is more worried about her food stamps than she is about the two children that were just burned. Second, the aunt appears to be completely undisturbed uh, emotionally about these children being burned. You do not see any tears. You do not see her upset. Um, this makes me, number one, wonder if this was a planned incident. Number two, another thing that is disturbing to me is her nor the mother were led away in handcuffs. I do not understand that. I do not feel sorry for the mother who is crying her eyes out right now because those children were burned alive because it is her fault, period. It is her fault. It is the aunt's fault. They knew better than to leave a two and three year old child alone at home. And so that responsibility falls on them. Yet the aunt feels no remorse whatsoever at leaving these children at home alone and them being burned alive. I would like to know why charges have not been filed for either a attempted murder or murder, depending on whether the ch children survive. This should have been the first thing. They shouldn't be allowed to be walking around. They should have already been put in handcuffs and taken down to the station and charges filed. Let me know what your opinions are. Please like the video and share the video. We as a nation need to be better than this. And when we put things and material items above our children, um, we, we've really fallen in society into a really sad place if, uh, this, if we allow this to become the normal or we allow this to become acceptable. 
um, I, I just complete, I can't fathom the mentality of any individual who knowing that two children were just burned alive, two and three years old, has absolutely no feeling of remorse, no concern for the children, but is concerned about her food stamp card. We really need to reevaluate ourselves, look in the mirror, and wonder just really how far down that rabbit hole have we gone. Until next time, stay safe.